Hello everyone, welcome back. So I decided to see how waterproof fatwood really is. So what I did was I took a piece of fatwood and I put it in this cup and I filled it with water. And it's been sitting in there for well over a week. I'm going to say getting close to two weeks. And here's a few things that I noticed. Number one, the water turned an amber color. Okay. And I'm not sure if that's showing up in there, but um, the water is definitely not clear anymore. And it has this, the distinct smell of the turpentine, the turpentine um, that's in the fatwood. So uh, I'm guessing that that's water soluble because it leached out into the water. I mean, it has that very, very distinctive smell. Um, now, I'm going to put a pair of gloves on because I reached in and touched that and I'm going to show you why I'm going to put gloves on. So I just got a pair of these rubber gloves. And you reach in here and grab this. Alright, let me move this out of the way. Let me put this little metal pan here. Now, I'm not sure if it shows up, but there is a very slimy substance on here that's leached out. Now, the reason why I put gloves on is because I touched this last night, and I rinsed my fingers off under water, and they were so sticky I actually had to use um, alcohol to get them off I'm not sure if you could see that amber color that's on the gloves so the sap or the turpentine or whatever is in there is definitely leached out um, it still feels pretty heavy for the size of the wood it is but let's see if we can dry it off a little bit And I have that on the gloves. And I want you to see that. You see how that's sticking together? So, something is definitely leaching out of it. So I'm not sure if a piece of fatwood that's been in water for, you know, let's say a year or anything like that, would have any of that left in it. Looks like it would all leach out, but let's see what happens. So we'll dry it off as best we can. Yeah, I wonder if that'll catch fire. No, I guess it's too wet. All right, let's see if we can uh, scrape some of this off of here. Try that out. Wow. Well, there you go. I see the black smoke. So there's your answer. This stuff is truly 
waterproof. And again, that like I said, that was only a couple weeks. Um, I'm not sure how long it could soak before it uh, becomes not useful anymore. So it looks like the little fine pieces that were shaved off the edge didn't last as long. But uh, if for sure got yourself a little fire going there, that's pretty amazing if you ask me. It still smells very, very much like fatwood. So if you find a piece of fatwood sitting in a swamp somewhere, uh, there's a good chance uh, you're still going to be able to use it. Well, there you go. That's how I do stuff. Hopefully you found that uh, enjoyable and uh, useful information. Thanks, everyone. Hope you're having a great day.